Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel, and I'm happy to have you here today. Today, I'm going to do the Look for Less Challenge. Let's start with DIY 1. So, I wanted to stain these wood crates that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I used some antique wax on a wet wipe. You could definitely paint this on with a paintbrush if you'd like and then wipe it off. I found this to be the easiest way and I like the stain effect. Now I took some wood glue and I'm just gluing the sides. So I stained all three except for the sides because they will be matched up and glued together. Oh, looks like I need a little more stain. It didn't take as well on that end. You could use whichever stain you'd like or if you want to paint these, but I am trying to make mine look like the Pottery Barn one that I showed you in the very beginning. After these set for a little bit, I added some floral foam. And now these flowers, I got a big box this fall of the spring flowers from Michael's, one of those big $5 mystery boxes. And so that's what I'm using. This is truly maybe an eighth, a sixteenth of that box. So truly it's not $5, which is what I accounted for on this. Um, but... If you were to purchase these, they're kind of like a rubbery flower. It's so weird. It's almost like they were in a silicone mold or something like that. Um, but these were $5 each. You could use some tulips from the Dollar Tree or from Walmart. This is what I had on hand. I'm trying not to go out if I don't have to. And I thought, gosh, I can do the look for last challenge on this with exactly what I have. Now after I get my flowers placed, I'm just going in with some greenery. I'm using a bunch of different greenery and the trick is to just try to cover up that floral foam. And I cut these all apart. The other thing to remember when you get artificial flowers or leaves or whatever is to bend them a little bit. Think about it. They were just packaged to come to the store. They weren't packaged to look beautiful and lifelike. So you want to fluff them out. You want to bend them. You want to use some of those wires to your advantage. Now these are funny. These are petals off of some of my Dollar Tree flowers that I use as flowers, but I save the leaves. Voice not want not, right? Crafty and there. So they're just a great little feller and I'm just using a piece of wire off of one of my other flowers or leaves that I had that I've been placing in here. So you just keep moving it around and placing it where you need some greenery. And I just continue, like I said, just bending these and make them more lifelike, pulling them apart just giving them a little bit of energy and happiness, right? Okay, in the challenge, it had sticks. So I went out and grabbed some sticks. So I'm just arranging those in here. This was one that my sister-in-law found on Pottery Barn. And so I'm making it for her. I hope she likes it. I think it turned out so pretty and so spring-like. I might give it one more coat of the Waverly Wax. I think it's the lighting there, but could be a little darker. So mine, I figured about $10, $3 for the boxes, the floral foam, and then $5 for the flowers. What a bargain compared to $179. All right, I am doing the Look for Less Challenge. Yami, the Latina next door, has this challenge every couple of months. And there will be a playlist below as well as her channel. Please visit her channel and subscribe if you haven't. And also, visit this playlist. Oh my goodness, there will be such amazing inspiration. Let's get to the second one. 
I used a dry erase board that also came from one of those boxes. So gosh, I got a whole bunch of stuff in there, but I'll figure it at $5. It retailed for $19.99. I cut out butterflies with my Cricut. You could choose whatever size you want. I used one that was in their free access and I made them two inches and an inch and a half. Now I'm just tracing around a bowl with a dry erase marker because this is a pretty framed dry erase board. Oh, it's so heavy and pretty. So I will make this one for my niece. Then when she outgrows this, since I'm using a low temp glue gun, they can just pull these off and she has a beautiful dry erase board. I'm showing you here that you just want to crease these butterflies on each side of the body of the butterfly. If you had butterfly paper punches, that would be another way to do it. You could also get the pattern offline and just hand cut these out. So first I placed them by hand to make sure how I wanted to lay them out. Now I'm going back with my low temp glue gun and just the tiniest little dot will do. I did this just a couple days ago and I checked on them and they're staying just as creased as they did the day I did them. So they're staying nice and pretty. And just make sure you kind of jerk your glue gun, kind of swirl it a little bit so that you don't get those extra glue strands. But they did wipe off pretty easily. I think these are so pretty. You could do them in whatever color you'd like. But this was the color that Pottery Barn Teen had. And I won't make you watch me glue each and every one of them, but kind of showing you the different sizes and, you know, just continuing around. I have those dry erase dots as a little bit of a guide for my ball on, you know, continuing with that circle. Theirs was a square and mine's a rectangle. So if I wanted to, I could write her name at the bottom with a dry erase marker, could write a message to her each day, could put it on there with my Cricut if I wanted to. There's so many different things you could do with this, but this was a pretty dry erase board. But if you didn't have a dry erase board, I originally was going to use one of the square frames from the Dollar Tree and paint that white. So that would look pretty and then a nice piece of background paper. Now I'm just wiping off all of my red dots. They come off nice and easy. Didn't leave any streaking. And here it is. Oh, this would be adorable in any little girl's room. I do hope you're enjoying these Look for Less Challenge items. All right, I got that big box for $5. It's 16 by 20. Theirs was 24.5 by 24.5 for $199. I think we did good. I do hope that you're enjoying these and will subscribe and let me know which one you like best. Let's get to DIY 3. Okay, I took this container that I found at Goodwill. It's actually a Tupperware container for 99 cents. I went over it with some plaster chalk paint. And now this is steel chalk paint. I'm going to go in with some baking soda to give it a concrete look. I don't know if you remember from the very beginning when I showed you the items, but it had like a concrete vase. So I want to give it that texture. Now we'll add a little bit of apple barrel white. And now just apply it. We want a nice smooth coat. And I'm going to take this in sections. If I did the whole thing, I wouldn't be able to go back and do those little lines that the other one had. 
and my container is a longer cylinder than theirs is so I went ahead and made four lines as opposed to their three so I just took you could take a popsicle stick whatever works for you and I just started making those lines and at first I really wanted to make them straight but theirs have a little bit of movement to them so I tried to do the same then I realized gosh I can make these a little bit longer this is a longer cylinder and I decided that I would do the four rows really simple and then I just go and paint the next section not too hard to try and create that faux concrete and when it dries it really has that texture to it and if you want more texture just add a little bit more baking soda and it dries nicely and you can go across you can go down however you want to but here it is I just plopped in a Ikea plant a faux Ikea plant and it was $4.99 or $5.99 and then the container was a dollar. So I figured this at about $7. But theirs was $29.99 on sale. How do you think we did? Which one was your favorite? Please comment below, but don't forget to subscribe because I'd love to have you as part of my friends and family. And the playlist is below. Go look at all of the other inspiration. You will not be disappointed. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.